I've reviewed a lot of chairs in the Philippines, and I have a deep fascination in their design, whether it is the humble monoblock chair which we all used in school, a chair which only costs a few thousand, or a 100,000 peso chair known throughout the corporate world and cinema. After my journey throughout the pandemic, contacting, researching, and sitting on all sorts of chairs, I have identified the type of chairs you absolutely must avoid as much as possible. And if you stick to the end of the video, I'll provide my bonus number one tip which will save you thousands of pesos regardless of which chair you pick. So what are you on activated windows? Mo? Well, lucky you! Pinakabago mula sa cdkeyoffer.com Windows 10 and Windows 11 activation codes. Legit, safe, at pinakamura. Madali lang umorder. Hanapin ang Windows version na gusto mo. Piliin ang preferred payment method. Wala pang 5 minutes, may cdkey ka na para sa Windows mo. Marami na kaming natulungan. Dati, sad and depressed ako. But now, I found the love of my life! Dati, aimless and walang purpose ang life ko. But now, I'm a world-class Zumba instructor! So, web developer ako and content creator for a YouTube channel. And ngayon, ganun pa rin ako pero activated na yung Windows ko. Kaya ako naghahanap ka ng legit, mura, at original software. Check out cdkoffer.com. Check out cdkoffer.com. Check out cdkoffer.com. Number one, be wary of cheap chairs ranging within the 1,000 peso to 5,000 peso range. Our very first chair review, which received a lot of views, was the Ethan, which was a mesh ergonomic chair that cost. We thereafter reviewed a minimal Nordic chair which cost a mere 1,800 pesos. What I discovered was unsurprising. They looked and felt cheap. Most importantly, I want to highlight this, that they were not safe to use. The Nordic chair in particular was not stable and it felt like it could fall apart at a moment's notice. The base was so fragile that I was always tilting to one side of the chair while the Ethan had a lumbar support with teeth which bore onto my lower back. A safe chair budget you can work with is somewhere between the 8,000 peso to 14,000 peso range. You can get the Sihu M57 for, and my Ergodynamic EHC 420 for. The Ergodynamic in particular has lasted 10 years. You can see it in our PC store in Pasong Tamo where you can also get your PC clean while you sit and relax in it. And if you don't have a PC, you can get that one too while you test out our chairs as well. I'm not saying that if you cannot afford to buy an 8,000 peso chair, then you shouldn't buy a chair at all. On the contrary, I would recommend a regular wooden dining chair you may have around the house, or even a monoblock chair which costs anywhere between 500 to 900 pesos. Those would be better bang for your buck while you research and save up for a proper chair. Remember, a good quality chair like the Ergodynamic or the Sihu M57 may last you 6 to 10 years much longer than your PC build. So if you ask me, it's worth saving up for. Your comfort in life is much more important than your graphics card. But an even better method is to go on Facebook Marketplace and look for a branded chair that is used. A lot of people have returned to work and it is a trend to see that a number of them have decided to sell their work from home setups for extra cash. As it is secondhand and probably with no warranty, it is best to select a chair design you know to be of good quality to begin with. Number two, do not get a chair which is not adjustable. The most important parts of a chair are the maximum and minimum height of both the armrests and the chair itself. And by the way, you should really get a chair with an armrest. The next is whether or not it allows for reclining, a mechanism to lock the recline, and even a tilt forward function. Some might disagree with me, but personally, I am more comfortable typing when my arms are level with that of my desk. This way, I am not placing strain on my elbows or my wrist. This ideal alignment has spelled a difference for me from being able to work or game for 5 hours straight to only handle a mere hour before I need to take a break. A lot of the alignment issue is also based on how high my desk is. It is ironic that I advocate for this and yet my own desk and chair are not aligned despite both of them being extremely expensive. It was actually my older chair, the Ergodynamic EHC 420, which is going 10 years old now, which provided ideal alignment for my desk. 
I'll leave a link to the review of both chairs at the video description. I noticed that one of the chair drawbacks of a cheap chair is that they are usually very low. This is seen from my experience with the Ethan and the Nordic. And I believe this is because the higher your chair, the stronger the material it may need to be built off in order to ensure it does not come apart. However, if your work desk is low to begin with, then you may or may not need to adjust it accordingly. This is, however, rarely the case. The best way to save on a good chair is to first compare the measurements of the height you need with the current desk you have with the chair you intend to buy. This is unfortunately something that I myself am guilty of not doing ahead in advance. Another option is to get an adjustable desk, which is usually more expensive than a regular desk. The way you can save money by buying a cheaper chair and literally instead bring the table down to meet it. We did a review of the Stance Motorized Standing Desk and I also recommend you look into IKEA's cheaper um, standing desk where you with a pulley. If you are enjoying the content from our channel, please do consider liking the video and subscribing to our channel because it means the world to us and it super duper helps us out. Number three. Get a chair as much as possible with lumbar support. Our spine isn't built straight. It actually curves down towards the small of your back. The purpose of the lumbar support is to quite literally reinforce the gap. Think of it this way, the rest of your back is leaning on the chair, but the lower region, I am not a medical expert in any way, and this is just my non-medical opinion, is receiving pressure from the weight of your body. Similar to how a poorly designed building lacks a column in a crucial area for support, the lumbar pillow or padded bracket is meant to fill in that support. Again, I'm not a doctor, so best to do your own research on the science of this. This is, however, how I feel when a good lumbar pillow is supporting my lower back. There are a lot of chairs which are both expensive and cheap which sometimes claim to have lumbar support but you should stay away from this specific kind this one which comes with the ethan is not padded at all it is just sharp plastic and it is really dug into my lower back alternatively if your chair lacks lumbar support you can always buy an inexpensive add-on bill to go with your chair an adjustable lumbar pillow like that of the CU-57 and the Aeron allows you to dial in the ideal height you find most comfortable for your lower back. It takes a while for anyone to fully find the position and angle of everything in a chair and it cannot be discovered after a single 5-minute tryout session in a chair store. Adjustability allows flexibility to find the sweet spot. Again, the CU-57 does a great job with this. The ergodynamic does have lumbar support, but it isn't as clearly developed as the M57. Number four, avoid all leather or leatherette chairs. I understand the appeal of getting one because leather will always be associated with premium through its smooth texture. In fact, a lot of leatherette chairs are quite comfortable, especially with the amount of padding they provide when you sit. Some of them even offer comfortable foam pads which allow you to sink in with pleasure. I've owned three of these leatherette tiles chairs over the years and I am never going back to them simply because they don't last and they can be quite expensive. Fake leather or leatherette peels very quickly. Some of them begin peeling as quickly as six months or a year or even two. I have never owned a chair past one and a half years which didn't start to peel. The reason for this is that material of leatherette does not allow for your skin to breathe. So whatever little moisture of sweat which does form gets absorbed into the leatherette and eventually begins to rupture the top layer. In short, leatherette chairs just do not do well in a tropical Philippine environment. I'm sure there exists a leatherette chair which exceeds my expectations, but because the likelihood of finding one is so difficult because there's no way to to tell what goes in the manufacturing of each leatherette chair, they all look the same, I find that you have a much higher chance of success if you stick to mesh or fabric. The latter might be a good substitute if you do not like the look of mesh chairs. Number five, do not get a chair which does not have a lot of review coverage. The benefit of the internet is that there are so many ways to research on a chair. One of the reasons why I would recommend Sihu over most of the chairs is because you can actually rely on international review coverage. If you go to Amazon.com, you can see a wealth of reviews from people from other countries reviewing the chair. Something really handy because it means the chair has been put through its paces and with people of different heights, weights, and preferences. And there is a lot to learn from even just reading the reviews. Another is of course YouTube in which you can see other chair reviewers other than Hardware Sugar giving their take on a chair. Although my ergodynamic has proved to be excellent value for money for lasting 10 years, there is not a lot of reviews online, which probably explains why our initial review received such a strong following to begin with. We had introduced a chair which was reliable and budget-friendly 
which was very much under the radar. Of course, the problem with so much information available is that while you do not invest money, you do invest your time pouring over all of this. Nevertheless, I am a firm believer that the more exposure a chair has to reviews, then the higher the chance you'll figure out if this chair is the safe bet for you. However, I want to highlight that a lot of positive reviews don't necessarily mean it's a good chair. I respectfully disagree on how well rated the Nordic chair reviews are on Shopee. Shopee reviews are incentivized by the instant reward of coins or credit the moment you receive them. This is why you see so many five-star reviews on products with the review just saying they hadn't tried it yet or reviews which post pictures or videos not related at all to the product. The more pics and vids you post with the review, the more coin credits Shopee gives you. I see no value in the Nordic chair. You can check out my full review up here. So the trick would be to meticulously pour over as many of the reviews as possible to see which were written by people who cared to give a long-term review of the chair. If you have stayed until the end of the video, this is my bonus tip on saving thousands when buying a chair. And that is to... Some of you already know this, but I cannot help but stress how, it, how important it is, is to buy these rubber casters. If you have wood flooring or tiles, most probably you are scratching the floor each time you roll around with a chair with standard casters. It takes a lot of effort and money to repair. Whether it is planks of wood or wood parquet and damaged tiles, which will need to be replaced with the exact tile type. Otherwise, the color will be out of place and you need to place adhesive afterwards. So trust me on this. You will save floor repair if you stick with these new rubber casters and and you'll even have more fun rolling around in them because of how smooth they are these rubber casters also rarely pick up hair or dirt because of the way they are designed in conclusion if you keep these tips at the back of your mind avoid cheap chairs avoid non-adjustable chairs get a chair with lumbar support avoid all leather chairs and Avoid chairs which do not have a lot of independent reviews online. Thank you for supporting our channel, Hardware Sugar. I'm Rafael, and let us know in the comment section if you are still looking for a gaming or ergonomic chair, and if you bought any of our previously recommended chairs. Tell us how your purchase over the pandemic years have been holding up. See you guys in the next one. Paminsan may nagtatanong kung may kilala ba kaming computer shop na trusted, yung hindi ka lolokohin. Actually, meron. Kami. Full service PC store ang Hardware Sugar. Nagbabenta kami ng PC components. Nagbabenta rin kami ng fully assembled rigs. We clean computers. Kasama na rin yung excellent cable management namin and CPU cooler repasting sa cleaning. We also clean and repaste GPUs. Nasa Makati yung physical store namin and you can also buy from our site www.hwsugar.ph na 100% palaging up-to-date yung inventory dun. Kung in-stock yung item sa amin, available yun sa site. We also ship nationwide. Thanks for watching and maybe one of these days, magkita tayo sa shop.